And you'd be like, ooh. I'd be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, so let's, ooh, get into this. You know. Ping ping wings Wednesday y'all that's right check it out so all right um, this is a Texas style wings I forgot the name of the flavor itself because when I bought it I took it out the box and stored it in the freezer because you know you need a room and you gotta break the box down right so I know they're a Texas flavor I, I wanted to try I got them from Costco was it Costco or one of the grocery stores anyway but they look pretty good. They're not really saucy. It's more like a dry rub. But I made some uh, sriracha mayo. And um, I made I just made this little concoction salad right here. It's got some creamy Alfredo pasta uh, shell noodles. Some baby spinach. Um, another type of leafy green. I forget the name. Some cheese. Some carrots. Some onions. And um, balsamic. Is it balsamic southwestern dressing? Something like that. I put enough on there too, but this is actually my favorite dressing right here. The sweet onion. So I might just, you know what, let me just take a little bit of it. Because I already have enough on there. Just for the flavor, just to give it a little glaze. Just like that, that's it. Alright. Um, and then of course, you already know that Sam Yang is coming out. I didn't use Sam Yang on the seafood boil. Because that was spicy enough. But we're going to use it on the wings today. Alright, so let's give it a good shake. Got the fireplace in the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. A little thunderstorm. It's actually cold outside. Oh, and the drink. And then I got the peach tea, of course. The peach tea, and this one's peach. Just regular peach. Peach party. Alright, so let's get a sip. And then I have a VIP shout out. Special requested from... Uh, this lovely lady that's been rocked with me for a good grip now, so I'm gonna shout her out in a second. So yeah, so right here, I'm gonna shout her out right here. So big shout out to you, sweetie. Requested VIP shout out right there. So let's get to grabbing. All right, um, I want to start with first. I want that Sam Yang, but let's let's try the salad first. All right. How's the lighting, y'all? Hope it's good. Let's give you guys a first bite of the salad, though. Mmm. We're back. Wings Wednesday. Just wanted to turn this light on and see if that makes a difference. I wanted to test it in this video because I had it off. So I don't know if the food area was a little bit dark. It looked a little dark to me, but I hope it's good now. So, what I was going to say, um, I love salad. And I know I should be eating a lot more, at least a salad a day. But I have to be in the mood. Mmm. 
kind of remind me of um, um, lemon pepper wings. Shout out to my homegirl, man, the lovely Lucio, man. She um, she always plays this as my intro when I enter into her lives. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Got West Coast, y'all. Let's try some of this sauce I made. Oh, my God. Back again. Sorry about that. I straight panicked because I had my audio on, but I thought it was off because I looked and my mic wasn't there. I don't know what made me think to look for my mic. Man, I thought I had everything ready. This is gonna lead me into a little chit chat about YouTube, YouTubers, growing your channel, cyberbullying, trolls, Um, cloud chase and all that. First, we're gonna list a couple of these flats <laughs> with some Sam Yang. That's right. <sighs> Damn, this bottle's almost done. Y'all ready? It's not nice, just for you. <laughs> you and purple keys. There we go. Ooh. Rice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, yeah, this bottle's pretty much done, skis. I'll leave it open because I'm gonna need more. Look at that. Wing Wednesdays. Mmm. I'm so immune to the sauce now. I thought about it before I said it because I didn't want to jump the gun. Next thing you know, I'm all lit on fire and shit. <laughs> mm. So a lot of people ask me where you get the Sam Yang. Order it online. Unless they have it in your Asian market. Mm. That's why I wanted to shout out. One of my favorites in the game. Twilight is smart. So right before I started to do this video, I seen that she had just posted a video. So I was like, what? And she posted a video I haven't seen her ever do. And that's crazy how it happened to be a wing video. But she did um wing stop. We don't have a wing stop here, man. That sucks. That'd be so dope if we had a wing stop. But those wings look so bomb. And all I hear is good stuff about wing stop. And they got like that seasoned cooked corn.
Okay, it's getting hot. <laughs> like when I stare at you when I eat. <laughs> I know there's going to be somebody out there probably just new to my channel. Be like, Snoop, go do um, do the two times spicy. I did the two times spicy a few times. Probably like five or six times. I did it noodle version. I made uh, my fire pasta with the shrimp. I've eaten it off camera and suffered <laughs> and hella paid for it. But the most painful one was a challenge that I was challenged by uh, Steph and Tosh to do. And that was their, <clears throat> their um, two times spicy chicken wing. You had, to, you had to drown the chicken wings in the two times spicy sauce. Now this sauce right here it's what I call the one time spicy. This one is not as hot as the two times. The two times is more red. Whereas this one has more black on it. You can't miss it. And let me tell you, that thing is not to be disrespected. I seen Mark Wiens. He ate that. He he, he was all excited because I guess he never did it. And a lot of his uh his fan base was like, yo, Mark, do the Two times spicy noodle challenge, right? So he got on Zoom with a couple of friends. And they did it. I don't know if you guys know or not, but Mark Wins, I boy can eat some spice. And that's exactly what he did. He made it. You know what this dude did? He went into his garden and grabbed, and I'm not even exaggerating, probably like 20 or more of those hot Thai chilies, the red ones, the orange ones, and the green one. And he laced those in his food, and he was just like, it wasn't even really hot for him. The other guys were kind of suffering a bit, but he, uh, that guy could eat some hot stuff. There's actually a ramen called Devil Level in Japan, and I watched that episode too. So they use the hottest chilies, <clears throat> they use a Sichuan, and this thing is like. You could just look at it and see that that's just murder. And I was just like, wow, it looks so good. But I already know three or four bites and I'm done. He ate the whole bowl, of course, and ate up all the sauce that was in there. Hey, rice, 
If you're running me on your wall right now and everybody's watching, that's cool. Props to the homie and everybody in the chat. What's up? What's up? But do me a favor, dog. <clears throat> Play Secret Garden for me. <laughs> I asked you like three times the last couple lives. You know that's my cut. Well, I can hear you now. Yeah, shit. That's that light skin, see? That's that light skin. <laughs> Chicken wings got some bomb flavor. <clears throat> kicking in it's not that bad but it's definitely uh it's definitely kicking in <sighs> figured i come with something simple another home cooked meal now i'm not sure what i'm gonna do for thursday i'm thinking like a steak video but i don't know i'm actually craving a burger My favorite burger spot's closed though. Burgers Priest? I already did McDonald's and Wendy's. I don't know. I did NW, yeah. But I don't think I've done an updated NW <coughs> burger review because I didn't eat all the burgers on the menu for you guys, so I can do that. Another channel that's new to me, um, he's a cool dude, Puerto Rican cat. And I've been binge watching his videos. His videos are pretty dope. I like them. Uh, Luke B. Grubber, man. Shout out to you, brother. What's up, Luke? Um, I think I've almost probably watched every single thing he's put out. I got to spread myself around, though, man, so I can, you know, go check out everybody else when I get some time. But, man, he did a gyro video. I was like, dude, I want to go get some gyros right now. It was like, what, 3, 4 in the morning. But he made these. He had the sauce and the tomato and everything. They're fat. He ate, he ate three of them like a chef. That boy could eat. Big boy. Remind me of my Puerto Rican homeboy, Junebug. Cool ass people, man. So it's Boricua and this growing boy, which one? How did I saw about Big Pongo? Bordello, Boricua, Bordello, Boricua. Bordellos and Boricua? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Luke, let me know what's popping, man. I forgot. It's been a while.
I was gonna do spicy noodles with this. I'm just like, nope. I'm thinking about it right now. Mm -mm. And of course, shout out to all my day ones, all my, all my angels, and all my new folks too. I got some several new folks on there, man. I appreciate y'all. Seeing you in the comments, showing some love. So, welcome to the gang. Woo. And shout out to the queen. Queen be herself. Be loves life. Uh, woo. Her sauce is banging. And she shouted me out on her community. On her. Um, her IG. Woo. That lady can eat some heat too. You know what I love to see? <clears throat> I love to see. The top five milk bangers for male and female that can handle the hottest heat and have a collab competition Ooh, <clears throat> that'd be hella dope huh? it would have to be something crazy and insane too something like who can eat The most of the <coughs> hottest wings ever, I guess. I know B loves would do good. I think Casey Connect can handle her heat. I'm not too sure. But I know Chi Chi eats. Would give B Love a good run for her money. Ooh, I would love to see that. Chi Chi eats face off with B Loves. Yo, I should organize that. That'd be tight. <sighs> Twilight can eat pretty hot stuff too, but. With this heat thing, you got a heat train, man. Some people just got like tongues of steel, but oh man, that's man, that's crazy. And when I was young, I used to have a tongue of steel too. And no more booty hole show ain't made of steel either. Lord, Ooh. Shout out to Tosh Time. She did a live earlier. And just real briefly, I just want to say, like, I understand where she's coming from. Because there's a lot of trolling, a lot of cyberbullying. And you know, YouTube, they, uh, they crack down on this, they crack down on that. And what they really need to do it's cracked down on all this hating that's going on with these fake accounts that are that don't have content. Cause they be doing the most. Constantly coming out to be love. But that's just like when you're broke. 
or you just you know you're not balling out of control and you're a small child and you're you're coming up in your own time or whatever nobody really don't mess with you but see where b loves that now everybody want to be all up in her business in her pocket like <clears throat> You know why are you charging for this why are you charging for that well why are you concerned like mind your own damn business you know i wanted to uh get on the panel and talk with tosh about this but i was out on the road but it's just annoying as hell to me and then you know some people will come in my um come into my comments too and, and talking that dumb shit like she got y'all what say they'll say some dumb way out the way stuff like look at y'all worshiping her like this this and that or whatever not even knowing that a lot of us um, go back three, five years with B Love, you know what I'm saying? So when I thank B Love, I thank her for her sauce being great. I thank her for her kindness and always responding back to me. I thank her for taking her time out of her busy schedule. That she, you know, you know, she's busy because she's been grinding and put herself to where she's at and earned her keep. You feel me? Nobody didn't give her that. She did it herself. So when I see people going, rah, 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 you know, it's always our people too. Got to just, just always just talking a whole bunch of smack, just hating. You know what I'm saying? It ain't none of your damn business. What's in my pocket? What's in B Love's pocket? What's in talk anybody's pocket? All right, you just go and support and show love. If you don't have nothing good to say, then stay your punk ass out the way. Period. Stay out the way, cause you're gonna get ate up. Can't stand haters, man. How are you hating on somebody because they're doing good? You should be happy that your sister is doing good. You should celebrate that. You got it tough and rough as it is already. Like, want to be a little bitty better, bitty Betty over there and just all up in everybody's pockets. Want to know this, want to know that. Go look at how much she does and puts out there before you go run in your mouth. You have the choice to like who you want to like. You don't like her, I don't care, that's your problem. But don't down somebody, you know what I'm saying, to speak negative and hateful stuff on them and trolling them and then cyberbullying them and all that. You're hella whack for that. <clears throat> As creators, <clears throat> and look at look at me for example. Look how far I've come. If you go back and look at my first, what is it, ten or twelve videos, you'll see my gradual climb. But when I started off, it was garbage. My lighting, I was not shaded. I was just trying to do ASMR, or whatever. I was learning it. But you know what? I've always had love. For it, I fell in love with this. I love it. This is what I like to do, and um, I didn't know anything about monetization and you know likes and dislikes and comments and and <clears throat> and hearting the comments and respond. I, I didn't know anything of that. All I knew was that I used to play UFC and upload a couple of videos here and there. I didn't know anything about how YouTube works, like I said. And then as I started to grow, I started to see, hey, this, you know, you start to learn little things, right? And then it wasn't up until now I've been doing this for about three years, but like seriously for like the last year and a half um, when I started to learn it <clears throat> and all that good stuff. And then I started to take it really seriously. And so, you know, a lot of work goes into it, you know, coming up out your pocket to buy the food, prepare the food. Presentation for me is a big deal. How I look and present myself is a big deal. You know, I go as far as I, I'll shave, shower, do my hair. Make sure my fit is crispy and clean. I come out here looking fresh and fly and deliver a great conversation piece with y'all have dinner and enjoy us together. You know, I, I know I'm talking to my phone, but I'm actually seeing and talking to you guys. That's because I'm communicating with y'all. Even then when I see you guys in lives, even though we're not in person, it just feels like we're, we are together. You know what I'm saying? We're just not physically together. You understand what I'm saying? So, but my point is that we, we go through a lot, like from the shout outs and, and doing doing the giveaways and then doing the lives and, and, and coming on here and eating for you. You know, we, we, we do this because we love to do it and we love the interaction with you guys. So for some 
buckethead weirdo to come through and just start hating. It just makes you feel some type of way. Me, I, I'm older now, so I, I pretty much ignore it for the most part. And I'll address certain things here and there. But I have an anger issue. So, <clears throat> you know, if this was like up close and in person and I snap, crackle, and pop, it's, it's the, my anger will get the best of me. And then I'll do something I, I regret. And I don't want to be like that. But it's just sometimes people just be blah, 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 just to punch. You just want to just, you know what I'm saying? Just like, it's, go sit down, get over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just sometimes people need that. I'm from the old school, man. You, you, you get caught slipping, pop it off at the lip, you get whooped straight up. But anyway, the whole thing is like, you know, we get out here, <clears throat> show people love. We got, I got great people that come out and show me love, man. And I love them. Like everybody from like, you know, Big Heck, Gorda, V. Marie's, Saucy Center, all of you guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you guys know who you are. Um, so it affects us in a way because when, you know, when you're doing your thing, you're grinding and, and you're getting the love and you're showing the love back and you guys are vibing as a family unit and then you get these people that come in and um not even necessarily like the troll trolling but like the regular people that that show their face and stuff that they come on and have something hateful to say you know commenting on how you look or whatever the, whatever their issues is you know what i'm saying but i know tosh time was covering that <clears throat> and i know that um you know b loves gets a lot of backlash you know what i'm saying but shout out to her man you know she grinding doing her thing she's enjoying her life and i'm happy that she was able to buy a new home i'm happy that she can do her interviews and fly around the, the country you know what i'm saying when she was able to do it i'm happy that she can afford to go in and buy hella expensive seafood why not who don't want that you know what i'm saying all you see on instagram is people sitting by lamborghinis and cars and flossing you know what i'm saying uh shaking booties and stuff and fancy bags and purses and hair color and lashes and, and jordans and that's all you see it's all just flash 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 you know what i'm saying so I don't know why that would be odd for, for one person to have their flash and then you come and hate. No, like, why, why don't you go on Instagram and hate on everybody else who's flashing? You know what I'm saying? But you ain't. use a coward. You, you're some cowards, man. Those, those trolls and those haters, they're, they're marks. They're straight busters. So, you know, I ride for justice, you know. So, anyway, anybody that's out there grinding and putting in this hard work, I appreciate you, you know. So, that's all I got to say on that, man. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, just stay focused. If this is what you like to do, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, you'll be able to upgrade your lights. Or I'm still filming off of my phone for now. But, uh, yeah, just keep grinding, man. Keep your head up. Keep doing your thing. Um, whatever makes you happy, you know? And if, and if you have a talent, whether you're an artist, a foodie like myself, you know, um, a DJ, um, a track star, a doctor, whatever, that's your talent and you're naturally good at it, pff, double up on it. Like you're grinding on the corner. Just double up on that. You know what I'm saying? And get your guap off of it. Do what you got to do to make it and survive. And anybody that got something negative to say, shout them down. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, at the end of the day, they, they're not paying your bills. You know what I'm saying? They're just miserable over there smoking some dollar store cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? With their drawers stuffed up their buttholes. Smelling stank over here just on the computer. Just hella trolling. That's all they do. You know? So just keep it 100. Keep it pushing, man. You can be all right. And that's it. That's all I got to say on that. Uh, yeah, that West Coast song was called Told Ya. That's one right here. So anyway, that's my video for Wings Wednesday. I'm your host, Snoopy East Fallweight, if you're new to my channel. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for all the love. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, check you guys out on the next one, all right? So, peace out.